Okay, coming back to this, what, what we are we are working on this area. So, yeah, they say that is it? It, it has been said that we same substantive procedures. We are working in different aspects. What is what will be in terms of payables? Okay, how it has to be done in terms of payables, accruals, and expenses. Accruals. How, what are the procedures for non-current liabilities? How we have to take into consideration IES 37? Okay, how we have to take into consideration the IES 37? capital and other issues and most importantly directors emul emulments small small concepts have been integrated in all the in one chapter okay small small concept now when as receivables payables is also important okay as receivables payables is also important what we are doing Definitely, when we are having the payables, you will you will get the supplier statement reconciliation. We are, we are paying, okay? When we are paying, payables will be there. We will get the confirmation from the client that this much account, this much amount is due to you. This much am amount is due to you, and we will get a direct confirmation of accounts. Only a little bit uh, difference is receivables and payables. Okay, we will have the credit purchases. Is that we have the credit purchases? Credit purchases will be converted to payables. Payables is converted to cash payments, cash or bank payments. Okay, cash or bank payments. Fine. We have to get the direct confirmation from the accounts payable. Other evidence in the payables and accruals. Accruals is nothing but the concept of accrual. Concept of it, it has to, it, we are having a matching concept. Is that it happens in the month of December. You may not pay in the month of December. You will pay in the month of January, but it has to be accounted. I will give a small example for this. I will give example of any one expenses salaries is it right salaries what how you have to account you are you have to pay the salaries for december but actually it is going to pay in the month of january what is the double entry you will write you will say that debit will be salaries credit will be payables is it this we, we are not paying we are but we are making a provision for salaries Whereas in the month of January, when you are paying the salaries, what will happen? We will debit the payables and credit will be the bank. Is it? Month of salaries you pay in the month of January, but you have to make a provision that this is the accrual concept. Okay, this is the accrual concept. Payables and accruals go side by side and you have any purchase or other expenses which have to be paid. This is the first segment. Okay. The second segment talks about non-current liabilities, loans, is it right? Provisions and contingencies. When you are talking about provisions and contingencies, IES 37, contingent liabilities and contingent assets, IES 37 non current liabilities financial instruments okay now non ias 32 ifrs 9 ifrs 7 okay ifrs see you have not done this but with it is not an excuse okay it is not when you are getting the exemptions part of that we are don't worry about that is it we will we will not go that much from accounting perspective fine evidence in relation to non current liabilities non-current liabilities in terms of in simple example loans okay loans has been correctly identified disclosed presented and disclosed in the draft financial statements never write financial statements always use the word draft financial statements 
wherever we are talking in terms of substantive procedures okay this is this is the one thing which you should know we are talking about in terms of provisions also what we'll do we talk about share capital reserves and direct directors emoluments why we are doing this as a matter of fact we want to complete all the elements of accounting okay elements of financial reporting as simple as that when you are talking in terms of elements of financial reporting there are five elements is that there are five elements assets liabilities equity income revenue and expenses okay we have to cover in substance because audit is not we are only focusing on one specific item we are focusing on the all the elements of financial statements as such these are all the elements of and that is the reason we are covering this and that also we are covering in the end okay what it says we are talking when we are talking about the payables and accruals purchases and expenses non current liabilities provisions will be there is it provisions and any finance cost interest expenses is that interest expenses and we are we are also cover into consideration share capital any reserves are there and direct emolument direct emoluments is what we are going to pay for the directors how it has to be done okay the same concept which you are going to reflect is that it is a, a test of controls restrictive procedures and full substantive procedures fine this much fine this, this, this is all the introduction no problem now when we do the thing what are the objectives is it this audit objectives now i will go i will give you a complete picture slowly and steadily examination mode how it will come when we say audit procedures audit procedures should be based on audit objectives simple audit procedures whatever you are doing or the should be based on the objectives the if your objective is clear your procedures will be clear what we are doing all purchase transactions recorded have occurred and relate to the entity very simple payables is nothing when you are talking in terms of payables payables is what is the source of payables the source of payables is credit purchases is that the source of means all it has to be recorded it has to be in the books all transactions should be recorded have been recorded means you have to verify that yes it exists it is complete it is it is have been recorded see now you will have you will come across the wordings of the picture it has to be recorded and have been recorded means you have to make sure that it has been recorded and it has been complete accounts relating to transactions have been recorded appropriately in terms of what in terms of accuracy purchase transactions has been recorded in the correct period cut off cut off is nothing but date okay cut off is nothing but date why i am writing like this why i have mentioned is when you are doing that why i highlighted this okay in simple words why i have highlighted is when you are talking about this thing this makes things more easy to understand okay in terms of completeness in terms of occurrence in terms of accuracy cut off and classification apart from that is that apart this is with respect to classes of transaction assertions about period of accounting balances is that now you you want to pay is it that somebody you you are a you are a finance officer somebody accounts of you are somebody will come and say that accounts of your manager you are somebody says that you have to pay it immediately you will say that whether they have trade payables and expenses have valid liabilities it is existence in the financial statements or not financial statements it it has to be registered in the general ledger it has to be existed in the ledger also ledger control accounts is that it has to exist yes we have to pay it has it has to outstanding it has to be shown trade payables and expenses are obligations of the entity rights and obligations rights and obligation to receive rights and obligations to pay 
okay you have you have the obligation to pay is it right it it has to be under under the name of the entity is it under the name of the entity all liabilities has been recorded and all liabilities are included in the accounts at appropriate amounts valuation and allocation whenever you have purchases is it right whenever you have purchases purchases means you will in the purchases you will get some discounts in the purchases you will have some returns purchase returns is it in purchases you will have some you are not going to pay for the damaged goods is it right any any conflicts are there in terms of receiving and paying is it then we have to what we have to do we have to take into consideration the net purchases is it in the purchases we have to take i am not asking i am we are not talking about tax all those things okay we are just taking the discounts returns or any damage goods this is with respect to the appropriate amount valuation and allocation what is the in terms of presentation and disclosure all disclosed transactions relating to have been occurred means it has we have uh, the transactions has been occurred and relate to the entity is that in in terms of invoices okay all disclosures we have to make sure that every all disclosures has been included in the in the financial statements and notes to the account financial is appropriately presented and described clearly expressed classification and understandability classification and understandable means you should be you should have a clear control accounts as we are having with respect to sales is it right here also what we will have we will have the customer codes is it we have the customer codes we are talking we are ta taking into consideration customer codes we also take into consideration the approved list we also will take into consideration the authorization so on and so forth it will come as as many things as possible financial instruments has been fairly and appropriately appro in terms of mathematical accuracy and valuation three things are there okay one is with respect to classes of transaction one is with respect to the period of accounting balances the last one is this presentation and this Yeah, based on this, we will go further. Okay, based on this, we'll go further. Now, very simple, very simple. If it is we are paying, it has to be. There should be an occurrence. It should be in existence. Is it? There should be an occurrence. There should be an existence. It should be a completeness classification, as well as it is a accuracy. And most importantly, it is a cutoff. during in a appropriate period is that in the relevant and appropriate recorded in the appropriate period now what it says accounts payables are likely to be material definitely is we have top material purchases is that two things are very important one thing is with respect to inventory current assets and non current assets it is property plant and equipment both will have a huge impact in the financial statement because i will give you this you will have the sales and you will have the inventory cost of sales gross profit is how much as you usually normally gross profit is 8 20% means 80% of the sales is related to inventory opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory Is it opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory? That is the reason it is a material figure in the financial. When auditing payables, accruals, and expenses, must focus on an understatement that is completeness. 
Payables are pay, payments are not so easy. Understand why people will say that payments has been delayed. Payments has been delayed. They are delaying the payments. It is not delaying the payments. Before making any payment, you will take into consideration the complete aspects of that transaction. Then you will come to a final amount. You agree that final amount. You will not only you are doing your own calculation, but also the client has to give the confirmation that yes, this amount is going to be settled. That is the completeness. You cannot once it has been uh, finalized, you cannot make any changes. Cutoff testing is therefore key test to audit in the correct period, in the correct in the correct relevant period. Again, see, when you are talking about the cutoff, things are very, very simple. Is that things are very simple. The only thing is, it is now you have a very clear picture. Reporting date, 31st December, 30, before 31st December, after 31st December. When you are saying cutoff, take it for all the cases. I am telling you this, take it for all the cases. It is last month of the, last month of the, or of accounting period. Okay. Purchases are often tested in relation with trade payables only. Is it purchases? See, one, once you are taking purchases, is it right? Purchases are there. You will have purchases. You, you have two different types of purchases. One purchases is with respect to inventory. One purchases with respect to non-current assets. Is that one purchase is related to non-current assets. Fine. Purchases are often tested when it is, when we are talking about the purchases in payables in exam, from the examination perspective, from analyzing perspective, they will test it in relation to what? In relation to the payables. Is it? Credit purchases times two payables. Now, slowly what they are asking how it is going to be completed see depending on this don't say that we have to memorize this keep it in you have to understand this there is nothing like memorization understand there is nothing like understand the scenario they have given so many points relevant one or two points now you have the things they will ask six six procedures in completeness, in accuracy, in valuation, in cutoff, is it in cutoff, in rights and obligations, they will ask six. Now, students will ask me that whether we should remember this. No, we should understand this. Now you are coming to a stage where you should understand and you should reflect what is there. When you are talking about the completeness, same, more or less same procedure. Obtain a listing of trade payables, account payables and agree the total. First thing what we are going to do is, we will take the list, is it right? We take the list of payables and we will see whether the list is appropriate, all the things. We will, we will take what is the sequence order. Then we will take what is the total. Is the total is right, is complete or not? We will take the individual list with the total and we will we, what we will do? We will compare with the general ledger, GL. Then we come, what means the total that has been given in the individual list and the total in the general ledger are agreed or not. Are agreed, okay? Are agreed or not. Test for unrecorded liabilities. If there is any unrecorded liability, if it is not recorded as payable, there may be reasons. Is it right? There, there may be reasons of unrecorded. In terms of, you are not agreed with, you have received it, but the goods are not as per specifications. You have received the goods. Goods has been damaged. Is it? You have received the goods, but you received the goods after the date. Is it? There are so many disagreements will be there. Is that there is so many disagree. In that case, you will not record. You will not record it as a liability because once you record it, once you say you have received, 
your, your obligation is to pay. Test for unrecorded liabilities and inquiry management. How have unrecorded liabilities and accruals are identified and examining post year end. If any unrecorded liabilities are there, you have to have an inquiry with the management. What are the reasons why it has not been unre not recorded? Obtain selected selected sample sample supplier statements and reconcile with the relevant accounts. Is that select obtain select sample supplier statements and reconcile that. What is the as per the our the as per the client books and as for the suppliers account. Examine files, unmatched, say some unmatched purchase orders or supplier invoice. For, see what will happen, see this is the documentation, is it right? This is the documentation. You are raising a invoice, is it right? You are raising the invoice, the supplier will give, you are raising the purchase order, the supplier will give the invoice. Whatever the purchase order, is it right? Whatever the purchase order and whatever the supplier invoice should match. Perform confirmation of account payables from the suppliers. Is it perform a confirmation? You are getting for confirmation from the client that what is the amount we have to pay. Is that our our payables and the supplier amount should agree. Complete the disclosure checklist to ensure that all the disclosures relevant to liabilities has been made. Disclosure checklist, so all the relevant documents, is it right? You have, see, when you are talking about the, when you are talking about the payments, is it right? Payments will say that request will be there, purchase order will be there, pricing will be there, Suppliers invoice will be there, received by the inventory will be there, is it right? Received by the inventory will be there. The entire process will be there, is it? This is the procedures, is it? This is the procedure. We have to make a, we have to have a complete checklist. Compare the current year balance of our trade accounts payable with the accruals of previous year. What does it mean? Any idea? Anyone? This is to ensure that the accrual reported in previous year cleared in current year. If not cleared, they have to present it in current year financials. Current year balance with the previous year. means if we are paying, okay, if we are, see what happens the things will work accordingly like this okay the thing is that it is it is if there is a pay if it is a accrual then only it leads to payables is it, it I, I, I gave you the i gave you the general entry is it general entry salaries debit payables credit when you are paying Payables will be debit, bank will be credit. Is it that when we are doing this type of transaction, where I have written, is it where I have written, somewhere I have written, is it there? Where is that? Yeah. Is it when you are doing the things, definitely you will match. Is it? We will match whether the expenses has been accrued and ac according to those expenses are we paying. Is it are we paying? We have to make sure that things has to be in place whenever there is a payments that has been going to be happen. Is that for the accrual? It has been accrued and it has been accounted in the payables and subsequently it has been paid. Compare the amounts owed to the sample of individual suppliers. The individual control account, individual suppliers is nothing but see we use the word control accounts. In the trade accounts payable listing to the, how much we own, 
हो जाए वो हाउ मच सॉरी हाउ मच वी हैव ओड टू दिस सप्लाईर्स वी विल से व्हाई वी विल व्हाई वी विल वी विल कंपेयर विद प्रीवियस ईयर इज इट व्हाई विल कंपेयर सी व्हेन एवर देयर इज अ परचेज देयर विल बी अ ग्रोथ ओके देयर विल बी अ ग्रोथ दैट व्हाट हैपेंस लास्ट ईयर एंड व्हाट हैपेंस इन द करंट ईयर either there will be a growth or in some cases we are going to say that there will be a marginal decline is that marginal decline marginal decline or marginal growth sometimes what will happen there will be a substantial growth will be there instantly what will happen from one supplier you are just making a large amount of purchases auditors will suspect very simple why why the why the purchases has been increased especially from one supplier what are the reasons is that there should be some reason that is the reason compare the amounts owed to a sample of individual suppliers in payables to and listing to amounts owed to these suppliers in the previous apart from that what you are doing see the thing this is where a small calculation will come in the examination small calculation you are going to compare with what you are compare with the payable turnover and payable days with the previous year any any increase or decrease in payables is there right? any increase or decrease in payable the payable period should be reasonably well okay the payable period should not increase is it this payable period should not increase we are not saying that what is the standard what is the not the standard if payables if payables has been payable turnover uh, days has been increasing is it it means we are we are lagging we are not paying on time when you are not paying on time again there will be a question these type of questions will be linked from the cash point of view this type of concepts will be included in the going concern is a going concern payables non current liabilities <coughs> that non current lab <coughs> you have taken the loan and you are not paying the loan is it comes in the going concern are we having enough cash to sustain next 12 months Is it? Are we having enough cash to sustain? If payable days are increasing, means definitely there will be some cash shortage problem. Fine. This we 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 are going to cover with the previous year. Reperform cast on payroll records to confirm completeness and accuracy. Payrolls is nothing but payrolls deals with the salaries, wages. Is it payroll deals with what? Payroll deals with salaries and wages. Okay, payroll reperform the cast of the payroll. Now, substan. What is the substance continuation to this? Confirm payment of net pay payroll records to the check or bank transfer summary. This has been done by the. Yeah, HR department. Okay, you they will give you a statement. Okay, payroll department is right. They will give you a statement that this is the amount of for the month. You have to know what is the amount has been as per the register, as per the records. Is that right? what is the amount as per the records and what is the amount as per the bank transfer. what is the amount as per the records and what is the amount as per the check whether both are same or not this is the substantive procedures okay we are we are verifying we are reconfirming okay agree net pay as per cash book to payroll whether we have entered the right amount in the cash book right we have entered the right inspect payroll for unusual items any settlements are there see the settlements are different salaries are different 
getting the thing settlements are different salaries are different any unusual items see definitely when you are talking in terms of payroll is that payroll in terms of salaries you will not have instant increase okay you will not have the if if at all they will be the people who are the joiners and the people who are the leavers of the organization definitely the amount will be somewhere in this range only it will go up and on it will not you cannot imagine that the the uh, payroll will be something like this is that you will not imagine that one one it will be like this and it it goes fine and again it will come like this it will not be there is there any unusual transaction that has been happened what are the reasons for that investigate see there will be unusual transactions i will give the thing you are appointing the director is that you are appointing a senior management you are appoint you are having a you are starting a new new branch new activities new location they will be increase in salaries during that particular month and subsequently the trend will continue is that this, we are not going to say that this should not happen it may happen but you have to know the reasons understand you have to get the inquiry you have to inquire with the management for the reasons of change you have to make a discussion with the management don't we should not see i am very i'm 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 very particular about this okay why people will ask whether they should not have any unusual items unusual items will be there but immediately you have to have a discussion with the management to get a proper explanation perform proof in total analytical procedures on payroll to compare that draft financial statements to assess the reasonableness you perform proof in total is it right what what we are doing we are we are saying that what is the payroll register and what is in the draft financial statements whether both are in totality both are same okay it says that this is with respect to what this is with respect to completeness there are so many things are there in completeness scenario based it will be very very easy take my word scenario based you will get half of the answer in the scenario you have see you will identify the things in the scenario only thing is you have to give explanation for that getting over only thing we have now we have a good experience scenario based is easy scoring they will give you the only thing is you have to give explanation on that scenario it says very simple that what is with respect to the existence there are two things one is with respect to existence and one is with respect to rights and obligations existence is nothing but it has to occur there should be occurrence then only there will be existence is it right then there will do will be existence what selected amounts from that payables listing accruals to have any to have a supporting documents is it so you have the supporting documents with respect to purchase orders and supplies you are saying that yes i have to pay 10956 amount is paid to the ex amount 10000 i'm just taking an example okay odd number what you will do you will see that yes for this there is a there is a purchase order is there there is a invoice is there is yeah, there is a purchase order is there there is a invoice is there. if both are there fine you will say that yeah, it is a proof of existence obtain su selected supplier statements and reconcile with the supplier's account what you are doing we are making a reconciliation that yeah, perform a confirm a confirmation of payables for a sample one minute completeness and existence 
परफॉर्म ए कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ अकाउंट पेबल्स फॉर ए सैम्पल परफॉर्म ए कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ अकाउंट पेबल फॉर ए सैम्पल हियर ऑल्सो वी आर टॉकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंप्लीटनेस हियर ऑल्सो वी आर टॉकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस परफॉर्म एनालिटिकल प्रोसीजर्स परफॉर्म एनालिटिकल प्रोसीजर्स वेर इट हैज बीन देयर समवेयर वी हैव डन ना समवेयर वी हैव डन परफॉर्म एनालिटिकल प्रोसीजर्स फाइन In terms of existence, also they have mentioned the same thing. Okay, perform analytical procedures for current year balances for reasonableness, and also calculating the, the turnover over the previous year. More or less existence. That is the reason I one, two, three, four, and perform. Uh, um, perform. This is. Fine. Don't get confused. Is that payables? It is for completeness. Compare payables turnover period. Compare individual suppliers account. Compare current year balance payables with the previous year. Here we are. We are comparing with the completeness. Is that very marginal difference? Is there? i can say there is no difference at all uh, from our understanding is it right this is with respect to the existence fine no problem okay we will we'll see when we are we are going through the question answer sessions okay rights and obligation words for sample of balances to supporting documents such as purchase orders and supplier invoice to obtain evidence regarding rights and obligations fine if if there is uh, a, we have to for suppliers invoice is that the, the same thing which we have done here is it right we, here we are talking in terms of existence here we are talking in terms of obligations is it right? here we are talking about the existence here we are talking about the obligations is that right? that it has matching with the uh, with the balances with the purchase order as as well as with this respect to suppliers invoice fine now because they have me yes tell me no good is it because they have mixed so many things that is the reason we have we have very very thin space to differentiate in terms of valuation trade Three selected samples for trade account payables listing, with the supporting documents with respect to purchase orders, minutes authorizing expenditure, and suppliers invoice. In terms of valuation, in terms of valuation, in terms of price and allocation. When you are talking in terms of allocation, it whether it is a revenue expenditure expenses or it is a capital expenditure minutes authorizing the expenditure or said obtain supplier statements and reconcile with the supplier accounts results obtain supplier statements Uh, and reconcile with the supplier accounts this supplier statements is with respect to client and this is with respect to supplier's account for a sample of accruals recalculate the accrual to ensure that the amount accrued is correct means whatever ha that has been occurred what has been happened that amount has to be correctly presented calculated or not compare current year balances to trade payables accounts payables accruals again this has been repeated but here we are talking about the rights and obligation what what is the trade pay accounts payable last year and what is the trade 
अकाउंट्स पेएबल करेंट ईयर एनी एनी मेजर इज इट राइट एनी मेजर फ्लक्चुएशन्स कंपेयर अमाउंट ओवर टू द सैम्पल ऑफ इंडिविजुअल सप्लायर्स अगेन इज दट इंडिविजुअल सप्लायर्स फ्रॉम द करेंट ईयर टू द प्रीवियस ईयर any unusual amounts any unusual differences any unusual uh, fluctuations are there automatically we can trace it out what are the reasons for that we are comparing the trade payables days to the previous year as well as with the industry data is it what we are doing we are we are talk we are taking into consideration three different things what is what happens in the current year what happens with the previous year and what is happening with respect to industry data means whether we are on par with the previous year and we also take into consideration that we are paying to our payables within the industry standards are such okay next for a sample of vouchers compare the dates cut off is it right when we are talking about the cut off it specifically focus on dates with the dates that has recorded in the ledger for application of correct cut off in the correct period or or not test transactions around the year end to determine whether amounts have been recognized in the current financial period is that now you have see these are the these are the short ways okay these are the these are the points which if we remember na it makes it makes things easy for us is that whenever you are talking of the cut off it is a standard one means you have to know into take into consideration what happened during the year end is there any any amount which has been and uh, whether it has been recorded in the current period or any unusual amounts are there perform analytical procedures on purchase returns is it purchase returns means a, we, why we are doing purchase returns so that comparing the purchase returns as a percentage of sales or cost how much how much um, is there any returns unusual purchase returns is it right unusual purchase is it unusual purchase returns will also raise doubts okay will also raise doubt. what are the reasons why if it is unusual purchase returns automatically what will happen whether we have we have uh, raised the purchase order against the listed suppliers or not listed suppliers is that we have whether we have an approved list or not if you have sent it to the approved list purchase returns will be less is that if you have not sent to then approved list of suppliers then there will be some gap that exist in the purchase returns fine Re what in terms of accuracy recalculate mathematical we 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 have done again and again is that mathematical accuracy with respect to totaling recast calculation of remuneration with respect to what with respect to directors reperform any statutory deductions to confirm whether correct we will have is that if you take your own company as such you will deduct insurance is it right you any any loans recoveries will be there any personal loans recoveries will be there is it right? any contribution to pension schemes are there is it right? in terms of what in terms of this is in terms of payroll mm -hmm. is it this is in terms of directors remuneration confirm validity of other deduction by supporting documentation any other deductions is that you will have is that we, I, we are not going into a detail is that we, we are not supposed to go okay any other deductions are there with respect to the staff members recast calculation of other deductions just do the total is that you will have what will have you will have you will have what they will do you will do the total of columns 
you will do the total of rows mm -hmm. okay you will do the total of columns you will do the total of rows to columns are total rows are equal or not how much we have deducted you assume you have deducted pensions amount this much whether we have calculated correctly or not we have to recast it the re total it re disclose your notes to the ensure, to ensure information is accurate properly presented at appropriate amounts i will tell you one thing if you are if you are in in this field okay if this you are in this field make sure that you you have to start the habit of reading the notes to the accounts is that we notes to the account this is a very very important document part of your financial statements this gives you a summary a brief very brief explanation about the accounts in our academic programs we are not focusing on notes to the accounts but in our professional workplace or in from a professional decision maker we have to make sure that understand the procedure understand how notes to the accounts helps us to understand the financial statements got my point this is the difference between an academic program and a fine uh, professional program what occurrence for a sample of vouchers inspecting supporting documents now you now i don't want to take that much time here okay such as purchase order it has been occurred or not agree individual remuneration with respect to personal records records of hours work any salary agreements are there or not is that definitely salary agreements will be there offer letters will be there acceptance letters will be there we have for a sample of for a sample of payroll we have to agree with the individual documents confirm existence of employees on payroll by meeting them is that physically they will they will be a margin of error they will they will say that whether payroll records uh, the uh, we are paying to the registered employees or not are any fake employees are there in the payroll re register is that it happens we will cover this somewhere we will cover this whenever we are talking in terms of wages we are talking in terms of workers attending wages payout inspecting personal tax records confirmation from managers agree benefits on payroll to supporting correspondents any any benefits are being given to the individual uh, staff members we have to agree that it has a correspondence with the in black and white documents is it clear to you yeah can we stop here can you stop here yeah okay